Ladies and gentlemen, the Republican Party is dead. And this actually makes me pretty sad. I think I should explain why that is. Now, I've never voted for a Republican, and I've spent most of the past decade really pissed off at them. The Republicans make me angry because I happen to believe in a lot of the things that they claim to believe in. Things like a good and limited government. Things like an intelligent and strong defense policy. Things like capitalism and an even playing field. Their failure to live up to these ideals has made me hate the modern Republican Party. But that doesn't mean I want to see it die. And that's what's happening this election cycle. Since the Cold War, the Republican Party has been an uneasy coalition. It's been an alliance between the pro-business, small government types that provided the money and the much more numerous, socially conservative types, who got out the vote thanks to a number of culture war issues like abortion and respect for Christianity. Call it the Mitt Romney wing and the Ted Cruz wing. Folks like me, who take small government and fiscally conservative issues seriously, would sort of hold their nose and nod along with the rest of the party. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Sure thing, buddy, but how about we go out and win some elections? I could never bear to make that compromise, so I never voted Republican. But I kind of like the idea that half of the country really seemed to want a more limited government and seemed really worried about the power of Washington, D.C. This election has shown that that simply isn't true. The majority of Republicans that voted for Donald Trump don't want a limited government. They're happy to vote for a guy who has openly threatened the Bill of Rights. And they're certainly not voting along Christian lines either. Trump's true appeal is clear. He uses a lot of code words, but Trump's Republican Party is pretty clearly the angry white racist party. Conservative intellectuals and fiscal conservatives across the country have no interest in being associated with that. Those folks have to face the fact that everything the Democrats have been saying about the Republican Party for decades is true. The Republican Party really is dead. It could resurrect itself. The Democrats were a racist party for over a century, but they got over it. If you're somebody who cares about the Republican Party and wants a better one, you actually have a great option. I'm Governor Gary Johnson. I'm Governor Bill Weld. I'm running for president. I'm running with him. This year, the Libertarian Party is running two very successful pro-business socially liberal Republican governors. They're not going to win, but that's not the point. Voting for them is the only way to save the Republican Party. You don't change the two-party system for the better by voting for it. You change it by creating a competitor that the main parties can steal ideas from. If you're interested in this approach, I've written a short essay laying it out. I've left a link in the description. The Republican Party as we know it is dead, but a new one can rise from the ashes. Who knows? Maybe even it's a party that I could bring myself to vote for. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And if you'd like to help me make more videos like this one, please click on the Patreon link here to take a look at my crowdfunding thing. Thanks.